Xi'an is one of the oldest cities according to Chinese history. A stopover on the overland Silk Road, Islam first set foot here in 651 AD. At the time, there were more than a million Muslims here before they started migrating outwards to other provinces in China. Despite this, Islam still has a strong presence here in Xi'an. The Muslim population here makes up about 400,000 out of the 7 million residents in the Sanxi province. Approximately 60,000 of these Muslims reside here in the city of Xi'an. With such a rich history, Islam has had several centuries to prosper and persist. Which begs the question, with so long to develop, has the practice of Ramadan had any changes? We'll find out in today's episode of Salam Ramadan from Xi'an. We begin our Si'an adventure by visiting its famous Muslim street, located right in the heart of the city of Si'an, to witness how the locals here celebrate Ramadan. The Muslim street is famous for its halal food and other items. It has become the focus of the Muslim as well as the non-Muslim communities in this holiest month of the Muslim calendar. In fact, most of Xi'an's Muslim population call the area in and around the Muslim street home. This stretch is an especially popular one for local Muslims to buy food to break fast with during the Ramadan period. And the festiveness the holy month brings shines through with additional decorations the locals put up. Here, in the Xi'an Muslim street, merchants sell nearly everything from terracotta trinkets to calligraphy and poetry books. It is especially busy and lively during the month of Ramadan and is open from morning until late at night. Also commonly seen during Ramadan are signboards that display the time to break fast as well as the timing for the next day's sahur or morning prayer. Today, most of the inhabitants of Muslim Street are the descendants of the early immigrants. Entire generations have grown up and passed on without straying far from the neighborhood. It's right in the middle of Muslim Street that we discover an oasis of peace and calm where an old Muslim living estate is situated. We are here to meet Professor Khalid An Soshin, whose house is located next to the oldest mosque in Xi'an, the Grand Mosque. In fact, the entire neighborhood he lives in is part of Xi'an's protected heritage areas. This particular house is over 200 years old. Professor An, a 62-year-old retired engineering professor, has lived in Xi'an all his life and paid witness to how it's developed and prospered over the years. He tells us what Ramadan was like in his day. Professor An relates an interesting practice from the past. 
In the wee hours of the morning, volunteers would take turns to wake the neighbourhood up for sahur by knocking two pieces of wood together. The sound produced is very distinctive and can travel far, piercing even the thick concrete walls of the narrow alleys in the neighbourhood. It is fascinating that the neighbourhood around the mosque still retains such a practice from the old days and the unique sound still echoes throughout the alleys after many centuries of Ramadan. <laughs> Professor An also tells us how fasting actually brings about unexpected benefits for his health. In his own words, the digestive system is less taxed, resulting in a more efficient use of energy. It's also a way to detoxify his system. For an old man like him, such advantages are always welcome. Professor Ahn is also a gifted calligrapher. He has been learning his craft since the age of five. On a normal day, Professor Ahn usually busies himself with calligraphy from three to four in the afternoon as he is also busy with housework. However, during the month of Ramadan, he reduces his housework and practices his craft between 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. instead. A respected artistic figure here, Professor Ahn often donates his works for fundraising for the Muslim community during Ramadan. We can see many of his calligraphies on display in various institutions and offices around Xi'an. Now that we've seen how the older generation fondly recall the evolving practice of Ramadan back in their day, we'll visit the oldest mosque in Xi'an and investigate how Ramadan is celebrated among the current generation of modern Muslims. <laughs>